Hello and welcome back to the channel and today we have a Netgear Wi-Fi AC 1200 range extender uh, boost your existing Wi-Fi has a dual band Wi-Fi up to 1200 Mbps and supports a new 802.11 AC band Wi-Fi devices high power external antennas for better performance of your Wi-Fi as you can see the Wi-Fi extender EX6120 uh, Wi-Fi extenders boost your existing Wi-Fi which is in blue and extends it out to the through the house out into your patio and where I want to get it is further out into my workshop which is in my garden so what do we get in this box I've already undone it there So in the box you get a quick start access and uh, instructions on how to use it and in the box is just the extender itself which has the external antennas it's very small and depending on the country you are in, I'm in the UK and it comes with the free pin plug for the UK. Wherever you buy this in the country you are, it should come with the existing socket for your house. So on the side there you do have some buttons which are for the on and off switch and the easy access WPS button and just in the side there there, there is a reset button there as well. So before we start anything as well, I will do a speed test on my home router. And I should be getting about 50, which is what I'm paying for. So it takes a few seconds, so according to this I'm getting, well it's going up again now. So, as you can see, I am getting 54.7 of download and 4.63 of upload. So when you initially set this up for the first time, it has to be set up uh, in the room, preferably next to your router in the, in the house. So there are two ways of setting this up. If your home router supports WPS, which it should say on the uh, router there then you can just use by pairing with that button and the WPS button here if it does not uh, exist the uh, button then you have to use the uh, web page to, to set it up okay so there is two ways you can set this up like I said before if your uh, router router uh, does have the pairing with the WPS buttons what you do is first of all is that you push the WPS button on the extender first then within two minutes you pair it up with the you push the button on the router now that is for 2.4 gigahertz if you want to use the 5 uh, gigahertz as well once it's paired up again you once again push the WPS button on the extender again and it should pair up automatically with the uh, router. Okay so we'll plug this in and as you can see the power is on so we'll just wait for the green lights to go on. So after a couple of minutes the power light has did come on so as you can see at the moment it is not connected to any of the routers so I'll show you how to set it up on your device or laptop so we'll start connecting this uh, Wi-Fi up to so I'll click on the internet and just below there you can find Netgear extension so we'll click on that and 
brings us into a login page so welcome to Netgear how would you like to use your extender so I'm going to use it as a Wi-Fi extender and not an access point so we'll click on that and you can use this on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz so it's scanning at the moment so I want to use it with my network which is the Virgin Media one so I shall click on that for the 2.4 gigahertz and also with the 5 gigahertz as well because it's dual band and then I'll click the next existing network password so I'll, I have to put that password in and I should do that and come back so once again it's asking for this networks of mine again so we click those and once again it's asking for the password network keys so we'll put those in again and then we put that in again set it up connection between the extender and router this will take a few seconds or even minutes enter a network security settings same as existing password I'm going to use the same as existing password so I'm not going to change them you can change them if you wish to connect any Wi-Fi device like you would to connect in the main network below click continue So now I shall collect all right so other it is showing the two gigahertz and now it is so if I clicked on the five gigahertz uh, enter the password Okay, so I've put the password in, so I'm going to join that network. And as you can see there now, it's got a blue tick onto it. So we'll come out of that page. And I shall just go on to, say, Google. as you can see it, it did come up so now we are I'm going to move the uh, extender into a, another room so as you can see on the extender all the lights are now connected so now this is plugged in from a different room which is approximately 40 foot from the, my main router so now I'm going to connect to the extender and the little green light should come up on there and there it is so now we'll go outside and we'll test uh, it working outside so the sun's out so it's a little bit bright outside so I've put the phone down here just so you can see uh, so I am now outside which I'm approximately 15 foot outside the house at the moment and it is now showing that if I go on to just a video And it goes to show it, it, it is working. So I've left the uh, mobile device outside in the garden. I've now come back in and it is still showing it's on green, which is connected to the mobile device. So you can see that we are connected to the 5 gigahertz on the extender.
so then we will go back into the speed test come out of here and now we'll do a fresh B test speed test oh as you can see it's in the 50s already fifty four point seven I think that was exactly the same as what it was and four point nine five upload so there's no change really using this uh, for extender at the five gigahertz okay so we're outside I've had to go underneath the table here because of the the sunlight and you won't see what's going so I do a fresh we're about twenty foot away from outside and it does look like it's still going in the 50s it's not really dropping much that's 52 so it's chopped a minute piece a bit really And four put it's still 4.58 of upload so that is really really good so there we have this uh, Netgear extender uh, 6120 it does work very good it's easily set up and I hope you like this uh, video if you did please give us the thumbs up do subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell down the bottom and you'll be told when I'm doing uh, another one so until next time Cheerio.